What is the most f up thing you did that still haunts you to this day? When I was 17 my brother walked into a room where I was lying down on my back and stamped on my chest. I saw red and stood up and punched him square in the face, unfortunately this was in a doorway in front of a staircase, which he fell down backwards, and when he hit the wall at the bottom folded up in such a way I thought I'd killed him. He didn't move for what seemed like forever, and I was certain he was dead, the world just spinning out around me. He wasn't dead, obviously, but knocked out briefly and he never laid a finger on me again, after being the kind of nasty bully who had spent much of my childhood just randomly beating on me for his own enjoyment. Those were the longest seconds of my life. I don't know about haunts but it makes me cringe. In public school we had this thing in our school called Jumpstart for kids where you'd go around, often door to door, collecting money for this charity once a year. Anyway I was 12 and I liked a boy in high school, and he convinced me to take the envelope, and go door to door and collect money. To give to him so he could buy a drum set. I walked around collecting from all these sweet people who told me I was so nice for collecting money for underprivileged kids. Fortunately I got caught, and my parents made me donate it instead. So embarrassing. That reminds me of when I was in elementary school and we had this wrapping paper door to door catalog fundraiser. I collected an envelope full of checks, money, and order slips from around the neighborhood. So I turn in this full envelope at the front office and I'm done. Randomly a few weeks later I get called back up to the office and they tell me that they never got the envelope. They kept asking me asking me exactly who I gave it to and when. Being weeks later I had no idea, just it was whoever was at the counter that day. Then they kept asking me to double check my bedroom just in case I really never turned it in. Honestly I think one of the office people just pocketed the cash and threw the rest away. Did they anything to you when you couldn't find the money like punish you? Nope, I do remember actually checking my own room and somehow hoping I'd find it even though I was positive that it was not there because I had literally turned it in. Then I also remember, funnily enough, when I was taking the orders, one guy kept asking you're sure this isn't a scam? Now again, you're sure this isn't a scam? Then he ordered something after I reassured him. I don't know if he gave cash or check, I assumed cash because he was so paranoid. Then he was actually right in the end and didn't get his order. I almost felt bad for reassuring that guy and then that happening but I did my part 100% so that's not my fault. Provincial Park, Pay Shower, 12 years old, line up to get in. Towards the end of my turn in the shower, get the urge to poop. Cannot hold it. Using a sock to smoosh the last of it down the drain, water turns off. Out of quarters. Put a towel over my head, run out of there past the lineup. Get back to the campsite, immediately change clothes, shoes, hairstyle, put on a ball cap. Work up the courage to go by the area later on, it is all cordoned off. Hear people angrily discussing how someone took a dump in the shower. We had a camper in this large campground at a lake when I was growing up. Tons of families with kids riding bicycles and golf carts up and down the gravel roads through the property. There was this one kid that was a few years older than me, I was 10, he was probably 12 or so, whose dad was the security guard and they lived on site and he was the biggest punk in the park. He'd try and wrestle you in the pool, throw rocks at you as you were fishing, ride off on your bike if you left it laying around, bully and hit smaller kids, even girls. I was driving the golf cart down a pretty steep, gravel hill one day when I came up on him on his bike, going the same way as me. He never turned around to acknowledge I was there so I got up just to the side of him and turned hard right into him. We were both going probably 10 to 15 miles an hour down this hill. He took a nasty spill and rolled off the side of the road and wasn't moving. I kept on going, acting like nothing happened. We were completely isolated so no one saw me. I remember him getting taken away in an ambulance and hearing that he'd been hurt pretty bad. I immediately felt remorse for what I'd done but never said a word to anyone. He or anyone else never had any idea I did it either. I look back now and think about how much of a financial strain I put on that family, seeing as how they were already living in a camper. That was a really really evil thing I did and it still crosses my mind quite often. Easy. 
When I was five, I burned my house down. We were living in a small home, me, my sister, mom, dad. I was supposed to be in the bed, but I wanted a toy or something that was under my bed, and I didn't want to wake my parents by turning on my light. So I grabbed my dad's cigarette lighter and light the flame under my bed. Needless to say it went up like a match. My dad tried to stomp the fire out after I started screaming fire, burning his leg horribly. My room and the source of the fire was blocking every other bedroom from escape, so everyone had to jump out of a window. Funnily enough, I don't remember the world glasses whipping I must have received for that. I just cringe at the thought that I almost killed all of us being a dumb kid. I imagine a five-year-old saying oops then igniting the effing house. Thanks for watching till the end.